Hey people, welcome to my channel. WhatsApp has a lot of your personal messages. So if you're thinking installing a third party application like uh, App Locker will secure your WhatsApp messages, then you are totally wrong here. Let's watch. Alright people, so I have this WhatsApp application on my phone. So let me just open WhatsApp and it's asking for a password because I have an application called as app locker now without me entering the password on this whatsapp application I will tell you how we can read your whatsapp messages let's see so let me go back to the home screen and I have installed an application that is called as backup text for whatsapp alright so that's my app so when we open this application, we will be able to see that this application reads all the WhatsApp messages stored in your phone and it gives you option here export to SD card. Well, yes, I want to export to SD card. Export to SD card is now done. It's giving me the name of the file and just press OK to that. OK, because I had the backup already once, it's giving me option to replace it and which I have done now. Let's see where this file goes. So I'll go to my file manager okay so all I have to do is go to my device storage and that's the file backup text for whatsapp here it is so I'm able to see all my whatsapp messages without even entering the password on the whatsapp app so guys that's how we can read the whatsapp messages without even entering the password in whatsapp application Keep watching. Hey there, many people do not like to show their last scene on WhatsApp to someone else. So WhatsApp has recently introduced a new feature by which you can hide your last scene with someone else. But again, the drawback is, if you do that, you will not be able to see the last scene of the other person. So here's the trick. By using this trick, you can send messages to someone over WhatsApp. At the same time, your last scene will never be updated. Keep watching. Alright people, so I'm going to tell you how you can avoid updating your last scene on WhatsApp and you can still send messages to your friend. Now, to do that, first of all, you will have to turn your 3G off or your mobile data off. Make sure if you have been connected to Wi-Fi, turn the Wi-Fi off. In my case, it's already off. So, now I will open WhatsApp. Uh, Alright, so let's see I got one message here and I will just reply back to the message saying hi. Alright, so it's done. Now once I do that, just make sure, close WhatsApp again. That's it. Alright, so now I will switch on my mobile data. Just make sure to not open WhatsApp again because WhatsApp will automatically send the messages which were pending which you have sent when your mobile data was switched off and this time as you haven't opened WhatsApp when your mobile data was switched on it will not update the last thing to the WhatsApp servers. Sounds great. Keep watching. Thank you. Hello friends. Do you think you can see WhatsApp messages of your friend? Or do you think is hacking WhatsApp possible? Well, no comments. Let's watch the video. Alright people, to get this done, you will need the other person's phone for 30 seconds. Then you will need to search WhatsApp web in Google. And open the site. Okay, once the site pulls up. On your phone, open WhatsApp. Okay, taking a little longer time. <laughs> Let's try again. Okay, here it is. Okay, once you open the WhatsApp, go to the menu option in WhatsApp and then select WhatsApp web. Alright. Now once you do that, once you open WhatsApp web and once you scan the barcode on the computer screen, you will be able to see the entire WhatsApp which you have on the phone right on the screen. Just need to make sure that the mobile data on the phone is switched on. Thank you.